Hi guys, I'm Brian with TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be walking you around a pre-owned 2020 Tiffin Allegro Bus 40 IP. We're going to start with the outside, then we'll head inside. Um, so go ahead and follow me. First thing we're going to look at is the first storage bay. Inside of this bay, you have a Dometic refrigerator and freezer pulls out on a nice tray there now you can set the temperature to this to have it as a refrigerator or a freezer it's completely up to you it's a 12 volt as well as a 110 the other thing that's in that bay is the remote to control your Gerard awnings we'll put those out we'll keep walking around while they come out Second storage bay is a very nice big pass-through bay with an easy glide tray. The easy glide tray will come out on either side. One other thing that the previous owner of this motorhome did is he took all the books and consolidated them into sections. If you've ever owned a motorhome before, you know you get a big bag of books. Uh, real confusing to look at, it takes you forever to find them find what you're looking for but this owner took took care of it for you all right bay number three here sorry about that the truck just blew a tire on the highway next to us <laughs> um, bay number three here we have another pass through bay Again, another easy glide tray on that one. Also in this bay, you get some exterior 110 outlets. Just for when you're hanging out outside. Now this whole motorhome is built on the Tiffin Power Glide chassis with the 450, 450 horsepower L9 Cummins and an Allison 35 or 3000 TRV transmission. In this bay here, there's a couple things going on here. First, this is your fresh water tank. So you have 100 gallons of fresh water. They did a gravity fill on it for 2020. This is new for 2020. They used to just have the force fill. Um, but you can actually just visually verify your tank levels from the outside in this bay. And then a half pass through bay. And on the right side of that bay, you see your automatic transfer switch with a surge guard. So with that, you don't have to plug your generator in. It just automatically goes to your generator no matter what your cord is plugged into. Bring it a little bit farther back. Again, just another storage bay here. So one thing that Tiffin does that no other manufacturer is doing is gives you air supply lines right here and a male uh, air supply. So if you need to blow up some floaties, uh, fill the tires, whatever you need to do, you can do it from this bay. All you need is an air hose. And then your very back bay. Um, these are just going to be your chassis batteries. All these are going to do is start your engine. You also have a main shutoff switch there, as well as all the controls for your multiplex system. As we come around the back, you'll see that the uh, you'll see the Cummins L9 engine putting out 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Nice and easy to access here. You got your oil filter, fuel filter, oil fill, transmission dipstick. They did make all that very nice and easy to access. Down below your engine compartment, you have a two inch receiver with a 15,000 pound tow capacity, a seven pin connector for plugging in your trailer or your vehicle, 
And then the previous customer did add an airline for an Air Force One system. So if your current motorhome has an Air Force One, um, you can just direct swap it over to this one. All right, now we're on the driver's side of this Tiffin Allegro bus. Uh, first thing you'll notice, side mounted cooling system, gets better airflow, keeps your motor cooler, as well as a def fill on the left side. When you pull into a truck stop, your def tank is on the left side. Your def pump is on the left side. Directly in front of that, you have a 50 amp uh, shore power cord reel. So you pull it out manually, but when it's time to retract, push a button and it'll suck it right back in for you. In front of that, the AquaHot 450D, that's gonna provide you with continuous hot water as well as residential style heating. But the big one there is res er, continuous hot water. And then in front of that, Tiffin does a great job with their water bay. So you have a power uh, hose reel, so you don't have to carry an inlet hose. It's already there for you. Up over here, you have a tank flush for your black water tank. It's just a sanitizing valve. A cold and hot outdoor shower, some hand sanitizer, a whole house water filter. Up top, you can look at your tank levels in a percentage. So right now we're at 35% in a fresh water tank. And you can also do gray and black as well as your battery. You also have a remote water pump switch for using this outdoor shower as well. And then the other side of our big pass-through bays. Again, this tray comes out about 60% either direction. It, uh, the, each of these trays has 500 pounds, so between the two of them, you have 1,000 pounds of storage capacity on them. Same thing on this one. We're not gonna pull that one out of the way. But also in this bay, you have a Magnum 2800 watt inverter. That's what converts your 12 volt into 110 if you're not plugged in and not using a generator. So that will keep your residential refrigerator running as well. Over to the left there, we have our master battery disconnect. So that's just for your house batteries, as well as an inverter disconnect. If you turn off the house batteries, your inverter isn't necessarily gonna turn off unless you use that second disconnect. And in the very front bay, six house batteries, six six volt house batteries, as well as your hydraulic pump. Cool thing about your hydraulic pump being there is it's very easy to access, um, very easy to work on if you're the kind of person that does your own maintenance. And then the very front bay, just some residential style circuit breakers, um, quick resets, very easy to operate as well as a fuel fill for your diesel tank. This does have a 150 gallon diesel tank with dual side fuel fills. So um, the entire exterior is a full body paint finish. So there's no decals, no graphics, just paint. Um, and it's a really, really good paint job on this one. So the stock number for this coach is 5U200878. Again, it's a 2020 Tiffin Allegro bus, 40 IP. Up underneath this front cap, you do have a 10 kW diesel generator. Uh, there is not a separate diesel tank for that. It will pull directly off of the main 150 gallon fuel tank on it. We'll go ahead and walk inside here. So walking into any Tiffin, there's definitely going to be a wow factor. Um, Tiffin's a legend. You know, they've been banking motorhomes for a long time. Uh, so we're going to start with kind of the galley area or the living room kitchen area and we'll work our way back. So first things first, on the passenger side, you have a nice couch here with an ottoman and this nice big window. So Tiffin does make this an opening window. Um, something that you don't see in most high-end manufacturers but when you're ready to watch some tv it's just a quick push of a button and it'll come on up
Okay, so there's your 50 inch LG TV. Um, to the left side of that, anywhere you see these little silver rectangles in this coach, um, you're gonna get two outlets, two 110 outlets, as well as two USBs for charging your phones, tablets, um, whatever you're using. Inside of this little ottoman here, you do have some storage. And then on the driver's side of this motorhome, uh, this one's optioned out with the two recliners. So um, two recliners with a lamp stand in between. There is some storage in that lamp stand as well. There's all your remotes. And then a little more storage. So while we're in the living room, Tiffin is paired up with Dish Network. So every Tiffin comes with a Dish Wally receiver. Um, you get the option for two. So this coach is 100% ready for Dish Network satellite TV. Back on the driver's side here, you have two really, or one really deep cabinet there. And then it continues all the way back. So tons of storage in the living room here. Which brings us over to the kitchen. Um, first thing to notice is one, you have a ton of counter space as it is, but you do have the countertop extension and the countertop extension actually has full length drawers in it as well. Um, so ton of good storage here. Probably the biggest complaint with motorhomes is there's not enough storage in them. Go ahead and put this away. Also down below, uh, you do have a dishwasher in a drawer. Tiffin did a very good job at making it match the wood decor of the motorhome. As well as more storage underneath it. And the last lower cabinet for this Tiffin, you have a nice pullout tray. Kind of a cool design. They did give you two different, or three different uh, spaces there for you to put stuff in. And we'll get to the countertop here. So first things first, solid surface countertop. Um, another nice little pop-up outlet there. A two burner true induction cooktop. So this is an all electric coach with no propane on it whatsoever. And last but not least for the countertop, a two bowl undermount sink. We'll go up top to cabinetry here. Tiffin's very big on accessibility. So you have two nice locking drawers there that pull out, as well as shelves up here that are adjustable. You can move them up and down depending on what you're putting up there. And then a convection microwave. Um, so microwave convection oven. So nice big one there. And then last things in the kitchen, another little pull-out pantry there. Again, those shelves are adjustable so we can move them up and down depending on the height you need. So back to the passenger side, you do have the table with the buffet and four standing chairs. So these chairs are actually folding. Um, they'll fold up and store underneath the bed. But over the table, you do have some more storage. Again, nice deep cabinets there. Total of three of them. And then down low on the buffet, you have another power outlet there. Two 110s, two USBs, um, all right there for you. Charge your phone. If you're working on your laptop at the table, uh, you get some charging there too. Coming back just a little bit farther. Here's your big pantry. Once again, uh, adjustable shelves. You can move these up and down. Really easy to do. Um, cereal boxes, canned foods, uh, whatever you're putting in there, you got plenty of room for it. And then your residential refrigerator. Again, Tiffin did a very nice job of making the wood on the refrigerator match your cabinetry. Gives it that nice, clean, high-end feel. Come back into the galley just a little bit more. You're gonna have your half bath, the Dometic porcelain toilet. 
solid surface countertops with an undermount bowl in the bathroom as well. And then medicine cabinets in your half bath as well. So storage is not lacking in this motorhome. One thing I do want to point out, uh, so this has the tip and spider system in it. So you get these panels all over the motorhome. Um, you can control pretty much any function of this motorhome here. So we'll go to the lights tab. You have all the lights or you just have a master switch, turn them all on, turn them all off uh, without having to go through and hit each one of these individually. Your battery screen, your climate screen. This does have dual zone floor heat. So that's in floor heating for your tile floor slide controls uh, all your shades are power so all of those can be adjusted here as well and then a settings page um, just a nice system it's well designed and well laid out that does bring us back into the bedroom first thing you'll see is the king bed now this is kind of a cool bed uh, it's on a lift so one we can incline it just so that you can um, sit up and read at night. But the other thing that I really like about it is it extends really far out here. And the purpose of this is so you can get around and make the bed easier without having to deal with this wall right here. They just bring the bed to you. It makes it a lot easier. You do have to put the bed up to put the slides in. Um, so you're going to just have to incline it and I'm going to incline it right now so you can get a look at what that looks like. So real quick and easy there. No work to it at all except for pushing a button. But on either side of the bed you do have screens for your spider system um, which we were talking about up there. Again we can do lights, we can do power control, climate control, all that from the bed. You also have two 110 outlets for a CPAP um, if you need that and then down here you also have two USBs on either side of the bed. You have four outlets, uh, four 110 outlets and four USBs in the bedroom. Up above the bed, again, really nice deep cupboards here. And those go the full width of this king bed. So coming over to the passenger side of the motorhome, we'll start up high on this one. Um, so more storage um, you're not lacking on storage here again deep cupboards solid surface countertops in the bedroom as well an LG TV with a JBL soundbar and then your AV department is right here so the previous owner of this motorhome did put a wine guard traveler on it a stationary satellite um, just for when you're in the park it still is fully capable of using its in motion satellite. Um, but then you have the two Wally receivers I was telling you about earlier. Tiffin puts those in standard, so. Then down below, you have a space for laundry hamper. And more drawers as well. And these are all quiet closed drawers. All right, come on back. Coming into the master bath, you do have a nice pocket door here. Just a nice privacy door, keeps your bathroom sealed off. Again, this is gonna be your full bathroom, so this is where you're gonna find a shower. Two glass undermount sinks, stainless steel uh, faucets. His and her medicine cabinets. and then outlets on either side of the sink as well. Lots of storage underneath the cabinets here, or underneath the sink, I'm sorry. Over on the other side, we do have a nice big shower with a stool in it, a soap holder. Um, the inlaid tile is just a great little feature that Tiffin does. Up top above the toilet, more storage. And then down below, you do have an electric flush porcelain Dometic toilet. Nice big wardrobe to go with all the rest of your storage. And then 
and then you also have a built-in safe it's a nice safe uh, bigger than what you would normally see in a motorhome you could actually put some cash maybe a firearm whatever you're carrying with it you don't want other people to find will actually fit in that safe one thing I do like that Tiffin does is your stacked washer and dryer the door is a slider door instead of the hinges um, gives you a really unobstructed uh, unobstructed opening to your washer and dryer so now we'll head up towards the cab uh, go over a couple things up there that this Tiffin has this unit is equipped with three air conditionings um, that 10 kW generator will run all three of those simultaneously so there's just a couple things in the tiffin cab i wanted to go over we'll start over on this left side you have a digital panel here so what's cool about this this is your leveling panel it's all it is you hit leveling and you have two options you can either go air or jacks air is great for things like just going uh you know when you're stopping for an hour to eat lunch you're fueling up things like that the air leveling is perfect and then you have the jacks for when you're actually stopping for a longer time so um, pretty cool little feature there you can also auto level with that or uh, manually level with that it does have um, two built-in levels on that screen so you can see what you're looking at um, Allison 6b transmission up here so just push the button for D and you're in drive, R for reverse and N for neutral. There is no park on the motorhome. So that yellow parking brake there is how you actually put it in park once you put it in neutral. Over on this left side, we do have a 12 volt receptacle for charging your phone while you're driving, as well as two USB ports. This does have a two stage engine brake on it. Uh, so just keeps your brakes cool when you're coming down hills this motorhome as a used 2020 has 5,504 miles on it uh, so it wasn't used very much and then over to the right we do have two seven inch monitors there um, they're both set on camera right now the left one is actually where you would have your built-in navigation your radio but you can also use it as a camera screen down below there you have switches for step cover, your driver's side fan which is located above the driver, accent lighting, solar shade, night shade, so that's uh, your privacy shade, a remote generator start and stop switch, and then a couple different light switches there, map lights, dock lights, um, just to keep the map lights is for inside while you're driving down the road at night, docking lights is just for your visual when you're pulling into campgrounds and then the controls for your dash or your dash AC and heat. One other thing as we move to this passenger side really quick, there is a remote panel as well for your passenger. So your passenger can actually go through and set your GPS for you so you don't have to take your eyes off the road while you're driving down. They can also see the cameras and adjust which camera you're looking at. Uh, just keep your eyes on the road and let your passenger do it for you. That's what a co-pilot's for. Uh, you do have a 32 inch LG TV above the driver compartment as well. Uh, just depending on where you're sitting in the coach, that might be more comfortable to look at than the big TV in the middle. And you also have storage all around the front of the cab as well. This panel here um, has a couple different things, or this cupboard has a couple different things. First, it has your Jaboni solar controller. So this has three uh, solar panels on it. So all this is is monitoring those panels. Over here, you have your uh, cable setup, your TV setup. So all this is is a switcher. So if I push the top button, it's over the air channels, more local channels, local news. If I go down below, that's gonna turn on our satellite system or transfer to our satellite system. Right here, we just have a switch to turn on the satellite. And then over here, we have two controls for your Gerard Nova awnings. storage up above the cab there more storage up above the cab and then two more little storages up here do have a bucket here the previous owner did leave the uh, tiff and touch up paint which is a nice thing to have just in case 
Oh, uh, something that's kind of interesting about this motorhome, uh, the slide out controls are actually on the seats here. So this is for your two front slide outs. The cool thing about this is you can stand here pretty much how I am and put your slides in and out and watch what's going on so that you're not crushing anything, breaking anything. Um, makes it really nice. So a little different than how most manufacturers do it, but not a bad setup. Uh, so I think that pretty much wraps up this 2020 Tiffin Allegro Bus 40 IP. Again, I'm Brian with Trans West Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. If you have any questions about this unit or anything else in our inventory, feel free to give me a call at 303-684-3433. Thank you so much. Have a great day.